A local father is facing charges tonight after police say he walked into his daughter's high school confronting a student that he believes had been bothering her. Our Greg Payne joining us live now from Paulsboro High School. And Greg, you've been talking with parents and students, and I also understand you have the video showing this altercation. Yes, we do, Sheba, and I mean, this situation has been the talk of the town, especially since it was all caught on camera. Now, despite the recording, there are still a lot of questions remaining on how this happened and why it happened. I was surprised. I thought it could have definitely been handled differently. Nyrell Thompson is a student at Paulsboro High School. She says all day her classmates have been talking about this video. This one right here? that has been circulating around social media and was sent to Fox 29 News. It shows a parent on Monday who was supposed to be picking up his child, entering into a classroom at the high school and immediately confronting a student. I didn't know to it. The criminal complaint identifies the parent as Aaron Thomas of Gibbstown. The video goes on to show Thomas going back and forth with a student, who Thomas has heard in the video saying was allegedly bothering his daughter. Moments later, it appears that an adult tries to intervene and calm the situation down when things quickly escalated again, with Thomas then beginning to argue with another student in the classroom. I think it should have been handled parent to parent instead of student or outside of the school. Thomas is being charged with several offenses, which include entering in an unauthorized section of the school, threatening to punch and knock out a student, and also committing assault, specifically by grabbing the student's arm and getting in his face. We've been talking about it, and I've been telling my kids that if it was my son or my daughter, I would have went to the principal and handled it like that, and then I would have talked to my kids. The Paulsboro Public School District releasing this statement stating, safety and security of our staff and students is paramount. Unfortunate situations such as these gives us an opportunity to reflect and analyze current practices to further strengthen the district's safety and security procedures to ensure that our schools are a safe place for all students and staff. Wednesday afternoon, Fox 29 News stopped by the home of Thomas to ask about the situation, but nobody answered the door. Back at the high school, many parents are just happy nobody got seriously hurt during the incident. It's always like something that you don't want happening. You don't know if he's armed, you don't know if he has a knife or anything like that, so it's very scary. Now, while we were at Thomas's house, a woman did drive up to the home and did say that she lived there, but wouldn't say who she was, but did mention that the family does have an attorney, and she's hoping in the future they'll be able to tell their side of the story. Reporting live here in Paulsboro, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News. Thank you, Greg.